टुडे इज टेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस विल बी अ थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ईगो फर्स्ट लेक्चर वॉज टाइटल्ड एज ईगो कॉमा प्लासिटी कॉमा अहंकार एंड इट वॉज पोस्टेड समवेयर इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन और ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी and then in 2020 or 2021 there was next lecture on quantum activism part 5 uh, or 6 that was also of length 40 minutes the first lecture was also of minute 40 and uh, in first lecture it was explained that uh, when someone is saying i am this and that and this and that and i've done this and i've done that and i've met this and he knows me and i know him and she knows me and this and that so when someone is talking like that it does not mean there is any ego problem there is no problem in the shortest possible time respecting his own time respecting someone the pers- person's time the person in the front of him that person's time respecting his own time respecting the person's time in the shortest amount of time he is trying to convey a very very vital very very important very very useful very very relevant information because if i do not know who this person is where he graduated from how much music he knows how many great people he has met how many ips officer know him where in the planet he has been to how much money he has seen how much money he has made how much of turnover he can make so all these things are very 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 important for a communication to happen otherwise what am i going to tell him what am i going to ask him what's the point of me being in front of him he being in front of me so it's an eye card it's information but in society uh people don't believe in that kind of eye card people only believe in this kind of eye card yeah you are a millionaire okay you are an ips officer okay you are collector okay you are mantri okay you are this okay you are director of this okay you are writer okay but a person's quality a person's identity a person's expression must not be defined by all these labels then it is an exploitation this i have already explained many times and in the next lecture of uh, quantum jump we had seen that ego is basically an i card a uh, a uh, sunglass a goggle through which you look at the world the universal consciousness the universe can experience the world can experience the jagat the matrix only through the identification only through the senses only through the perception only through the human body only through a dimension only through an expression so that expression is the ego state that one particular quantum state however uh, the expression is a much big thing but the expression is expressing or experiencing the matrix in one particular quantum state and in that state that medium of exchange of experience is the ego state so a person has different ego states so when a person is saying my life is so great i'm enjoying so much and i have got so many girls and i've got so many great boys i've got so much of money and i've done this and that so is that ego yes but uh, if someone is just crying oh my life is so bad my mother does not love me my health is so poor i don't have money oh my god my life is so miserable is that ego of course 
anything that you consider yourself anything is that is your current neuroplastic state that is ego so someone who started from 100 bucks and constantly he is making like 1000 rupees then a lakh rupees then 1 crore rupees and then 100 crore rupees and then he is saying wow see I made 100 crore rupees okay then he makes another 500 crore rupees and he says you see I made 500 crore rupees and then he makes another 5000 crore rupees and says See, I made 5000 crore rupees. So, this is a very good thing. It is just a way of communicating the fact that I am so blessed and I am so proud and I am so positive and I am so inspired and I am so confident and I am so fulfilled and content about the fact that I just made 5000 crore rupees. And I am so fulfilled and content about the fact that I just made 5000 crore rupees from 100 bucks. So, what is the bad thing? It is constantly changing your ego state. He is so free from ego, just like me. The way I'm constantly changing my ego state. Sometimes I'm a guitarist, sometimes I'm a pianist, sometimes I'm a flute player, sometimes I'm a singer, sometimes I'm contesting elections, sometimes I'm traveling across the country, sometimes I'm cracking some joke on internet, sometimes I'm going live and I'm just meditating or I'm talking about chakras, sometimes I'm talking about anal sex. Sometimes I will become revolutionary, sometimes I will become Karl Bhairav speaker, sometimes I will become a lover, sometimes I will become an abuser, sometimes I will become a Krantikari, sometimes I will become just uh, an aloof man. So these are different different quantum states among which I have made thousands of quantum jumps over the period of 37 years which makes me the only person that I know or I can even imagine about who is egoless. Basically that there is nothing like egoless but a person who is not stuck into a quantum ego state and it is very easy for him to change his quantum state because he has worked so much on his brain plasticity that the consciousness is just not logged in well-defined certain neural networks. So this brain's neuroplasticity is so high, this brain's neuroplasticity is so high that the consciousness of this man is not stuck in one particular loop because this man does not live in a loop. He creates loops. He creates a loop of guitar and he leaves it aside. Then creates a loop of RTR, creates a loop of guitar, creates a loop of RTR, creates a loop of IIT Bombay, creates a loop of parabola, creates a loop of love, creates a loop of lectures creates a loop of poetry. So he is the Vishnu. A man like me is a Vishnu, is a Sakshat Kal Bhaira who has been constantly without the break of even a minute for past 37 years, without the break of a minute for past 37 years who is constantly, constantly, constantly making quantum jumps. So he is the most ego-less and ego-free man that can ever be seen, that can ever be met, that can ever be listened, be read or be aware of. A man like this. So, but a man who is stuck for years, he has been wanting to speak good English for 10 years. He has not yet been able to speak English at all. That means for 10 years, he is stuck into the same ego state, same quantum ego state. He is not able to make the jump because of lack of knowledge or courage or his ego problem because of his ahankar. So that person is real ahankari you need to understand not someone who actually fought for it became an exceptional speaker now he's saying see this is how i became an exceptional speaker that is not 
ego. Of course, everything is ego, but the real ego problem is that not here. You need to understand. Necessitas entender and Spanish. तो हम आपको बता रहे थे कि ये जो ईगो है इसको हमने कार के संबंध में समझा है और कोई इसको समझा नहीं पाया कोई ना कोई तो समझा होगा अपने स्तर पर बट हमको ये एहसास हुआ तो हमने इसको एज एन एग्जाम्पल पेश करने की हम सोच रहे हैं सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द मूवमेंट एंड एक्सपेंशन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड द मूवमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड मूवमेंट ऑफ लाइफ इज सिमिलर टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ कार कार हैज टू प्राइमरी फोर्सेस कार हैज टू प्राइमरी फोर्सेस स्टेयरिंग एंड द एक्सिलेटर स्टेयरिंग एंड द एक्सिलेटर ना स्टेयरिंग जॉब इज टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड जॉब ऑफ द एक्सिलेटर एक्सिलेटर जॉब इज टू प्रोपेल द व्हीकल इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन एज अ मैस्कुल फोर्स एज अ लॉजिकल फोर्स एज अन फोर्स बट द स्टेयरिंग इज फेमिन एनर्जी इट्स डिवाइन फेमिन द जॉब ऑफ स्टेयरिंग इज टू गिव द एंगल टू दिस वैक्टर एज अ डिवाइन फेमिन एनर्जी एज अंग एनर्जी so a good and perfect movement of the vehicle can take place only when the yin and yang are in balance please understand now once yin and yang are in the balance there comes clutch now clutch we'll understand in a minute what is clutch but when clutch is pressed the gear is released now what is released the clutch is released from the gear now different gears are different quantum states the car may not visit all the gears all the time or some gears will be there for most of the time but when the clutch is pressed the locking is released and now you can change the quantum state now if the car is moving from second gear clutch is pressed to third gear it is basically changing the quantum state now when the clutch is released then locking mechanism is happening and as a result of that locking mechanism something that which did not exist that lock that ego state which now exists and has come into the picture by the virtue of shifting the gear and releasing the clutch please understand necessitas entender and espanol idiomas please understand and spanish so how deep and how subtle it is you're taking deep breath or you're going into the deep meditation or you're just living your life you're living your life in the moj you're playing guitar or building superior society or making love or abusing people or demanding money all these things which are happening in the alignment with the nature with the source all these things are constantly releasing the resistance that resistance has to be released so that clutch mechanism is the release of resistance in the release of resistance the car has a choice to move from one ego state to another ego state from one gear to another gear please understand okay so after so much thinking i have reached this far of course after like on the tire and on the petrol on the headlight on the gps more commentaries can be done but the most important part was the ego state so humble ka kamal concept also we need to understand that uh, 
most people are not able to change their gear because the neuroplasticity is very weak that's why the majority of society lives in a very well defined and common quantum ego states for several decades because of which they have not accomplished much in their lives because of which uh, their status quo gets offended when someone breaks the status quo and becomes something and then comes back and starts telling the stories and tales and because of that the people start getting offended so they enforce each other to keep wearing the kambal of humble so that uh, no one's weakness so that no one's is no one's mediocrity no one's neutrality no one's uselessness comes out in front of the world because if the society allows someone to come and start talking about your achievements then uh, then number will also come and they don't have any achievements so what are we going to say so i have experienced in real life a lot even about pavan juri if you are watching so far i ask you how much do you know about pavan juri you do not know anything except all the political perspectives that he has shared in uh, his facebook wall or on superior society youtube channel but apart from that what is his background what are his problems his personal problems what great things he has done to improve his brain his consciousness his uh, money how much money he has earned with what methods he has earned and in what smallest period of time what was the greatest amount he made and what are his skills you do not know anything about all this because because this disease because of this disease that humble ka kambal even pavan juri had to stay silent he is not being very authentic by saying all those great things about himself so a great egoless person like me has to go to pavan juri personally spend time and keep asking the questions tell more about your childhood tell more about your achievements tell more about your perspective tell more 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 don't worry i am not going to think that you are your your self uh, praising i am not going to think that you are an egoistic person no 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 i am not going to think that you are an arrogant person because i know what human brain can do i have done it and i have read about it and i have seen so many people doing it that's why i know the power of human brain so where does the ego come where does the superior or inferior or bigger or smaller come the same brain you have the same brain i have same brain hitler had same brain obama has same brain einstein had so do not want brain like einstein but whatever amount of brain we have we have miraculous things so what miraculous things have you done in your life with this brain please tell some tales so aisa hota hai ek ego le saath theek hai i hope you got my point <laughs>